Hey everybody, Drew MC here on my channel and I want to welcome you to my first pack opening of Magic the Gathering. Uh, I know these things are pretty popular so I thought I'd give, give it a shot and uh, I, uh, I hope you like it and then subscribe, make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah, maybe you dig it. See, I, I found in my local game shop just a few days ago, I went in and they had uh, a rare box, a really rare find actually of old packs and they were selling them at this insane deal so I found this real this classic magic rarity here uh, can you guess what it is I only paid it's it's totally unopened but uh, here why don't we flip this over and the suspense is killing you check that homelands one of magic's earlier sets and one of their best sets I think uh, you can I only paid 15 for this. Can you believe that only $15 for this pack? How insane is that and some of you may be thinking like oh you idiot That's only like it's only eight cards in a pack, but like whatever. I don't even care I mean, this is so rare and so good. There's never been a better set than this people say world wake and I say no fuck you homelands is where it's at you would not believe the stuff in this and uh, so so we're gonna flip it over here and you can see that it's uh, you can see it's totally uh, totally unopened it's still held all together like that that's pretty remarkable in my opinion to find a pack like that just perfect condition so we're, we're gonna open that up here and hopefully we get some good finds so uh, I'm just gonna just gonna crack it here oh man my hands are like so shaky I uh, okay hold on I I'm just I'm just twitching out really badly here. I'm just okay, look, I gotta put it down for a second. Okay, I I'm gonna need to change my hands. Okay, I just got uh, just give me a second here. I'm just gonna change my hands. Because I'm too nervous. I'm just too nervous. I need fresh hands for this. Okay, so here we go. A classic new hands now, fresh hands. A pack opening of one of Magic's earlier sets, Homelands. Okay, this set's really important for a few reasons. It was the first set where they focused on, uh, well, protect the wrapper here. I don't want to damage the wrapper too much. It might have some resale value. But uh, it was one of the first sets that they focused on the story first. Oh, see, I already tore it. I'm first, first pack opening, I'm not that good. So it was one of the first sets where they focused mostly on the story and uh, instead, of, instead of card mechanics, and it shows. Like they, they do some really cool things here. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna, there you go, fresh pack of Homelands. See how much darker the backs are? Now some people think that was a print error, but I like the darker backs and I wish they had kept it. So here we go, here's the first card. All right. Oh, look at that dry spell. Oh, wow, I can't believe this dry spell. It's only two mana, black and a white. It deals one damage to each creature and player. That's a board wipe. Okay, that's a board wipe spell. That can kill so much. I mean, all you people rocking tokens, bitches don't even know about my board wipes. All right, so I'm just gonna, just gonna, whoa, I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna have to sleeve that up. That's, that's a good fund. That's like 10 cents right there, that's awesome. Okay, card number two. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh! Samite Alchemist. I think that might be my rare. That could be my rare. You can see for, for two white, tap, prevent up to four damage to a creature you control. Tap that creature. The creature's not tapped during your next untap step. That's great. That's the perfect defense. And then you got an extra tapped creature. Not only does it live, but you have a tapped creature. So if you have, I don't know, anything that triggers tapped creatures, uh, that's good. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna sleep that up too. I mean, that's, that's pretty insane. Okay, what's next, what's next, what's next? Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this is my rare actually, now that I think about it. This is totally my rare. Funeral March. See that? Two black, one white. When target creature leaves play, that creature's controller sacrifices a creature he or she controls. Ignore this effect if that player controls no creatures. Who doesn't have two creatures on the board at all times? I mean, this is this is great. This is like, this is like just a, an extra uh, uh, diabolic edict or cruel edict. You just boom. Oh, you have that creature. That's great. Check that out. I combine 
dry spell. There's one damage done with dry spell. And then, oh, that creature died because it could only take one, like a, like a punk. And now you, now you burn something else. Deal with it, bitches. That's right. Okay, here's the next card. I wonder what this is. Oh, wow. Alaban's Tower. One red, one white, target blocking creature gets plus three, plus one until end of turn. It's like a giant growth, slightly more expensive and, and red. But like, I'll use it. I don't even care, because red's all about big blockers. Red is about blocking and turtling, and this card helps you do that and kill others. That could be the rare. That could easily, easily be the rare. I, I don't think there's even any commons in this. What do we got? Ooh, ambush party. So it's one red and four. It's got first strike and, uh, see that? Ambush party can attack the turn it comes into play on your side. That's like haste, but before they had haste. And it's also the only summon ambush party card ever printed. Three one, first strike, five mana, haste. It's the whole package. This could be a mythic. This is like a mythic before there were mythics. That's insane. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, Folk of N have a. Let me just get you a good view there. I'll check that out. One green, one one. If assigned as a blocker, it gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Oh, and it's also the only summon folk of Anne Hava that was ever printed. That's pretty cool. I mean, I buy this as a single. This is great. You can use it and then you like play it on your first turn and then somebody attacks you with uh, something, a uh, three, three, maybe, whatever, folk of Anne Hava, boom, dead. Pretty sure that's the rare of the pack. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, how many do we have left here? Oh, we only have two. So, all right, so I'm gonna just set that down. All right, what's this one? I know, I'm just gonna, just gonna peek. It looks black, I think it's black, what is it? <gasps> oh, that's it, that's the rare right there. Sengir Autocrat. Now, you may be thinking four mana for a two, two. What's that about? That's kind of stupid, but check this out. Comes into play, put three surf tokens into play. Treat these as O one one black creatures. If it leaves play, bury them all. Oh man, four mana, but you get four creatures out of it. One of them's even a two-two. And then three chump blockers. Unless of course you kill this. And in which case you lose everything. But still, risk versus reward. And that's what old magic was all about. I mean this is this is great. I I I bought a playset when they came out for like twenty bucks and I still use them today. Okay, so so that's we've gotten some good ones. This is probably just a common so it's, it's not going to be anything special. What? Oh, man. Wizard School. Wizard School. A rare land if I ever saw one. So check this out. It doesn't even come into play tapped. How awesome is that? It's not even tapped. When you play it, you get to play it the first turn you have it. It gives you a colorless mana. Or you can pay one, tap it, you get blue. Or pay two, tap it, you get white. Or pay two, tap it, you get black. This is the best commander card ever printed. This is like, the this is Jace the Mind Sculptor before there was a Jace the Mind Sculptor. It can do everything. White, uh, blue, uh, black, uh, colorless. It's a land with a school for wizards. Like, this is the Harry Potter, the card. It's great. I've Man, wow, that's some good finds. That's some amazing finds. And they're all mint condition, all perfect. I am just, this was the best $30 I ever spent getting this pack. Uh, I would buy it again. So yeah, there you go. There's my first pack opening. You know what? Actually, I'm, uh, I'm going to sleeve this right away. I'm just going to go ahead and throw Wizard School on the sleeve because I'll be using it tomorrow when I play Commander. I'm so, check that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much and subscribe. And if you want to send me free packs to open, I'm totally going to do more of these. Like five or six so i know they just got a box of fallen empires at the store so i'm looking forward to trying that all right thank you and subscribe oh man it's like an eight rare pack it's awesome